What's going on? Welcome to today's video. My name is Colton. Today we're going to be talking about and demonstrating how to set up your Google Home Mini. If this is your first time here, check out this video or our channel. We ask you to subscribe. The reason for that is we produce and demonstrate project videos and review videos that will help you know how to turn your house into a home. If you want to see project videos that we've completed in the past, go ahead and click on this link right here. The time that it took me to set up this Google Home Mini was anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. So let's get started. First, pick a place that you want your Google Home to be. Next, plug in your Google Home Mini, making sure that USB is going the correct way. Make sure your mute switch isn't on. You'll know if it's muted if the switch is closest to the USB and if there's color showing. You'll start to see lights appear. Wait for these lights to go from white to a color and she will start talking. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Go to your smartphone or tablet and download the Google Home app. You may not see your Google Home Mini available to set up, so do a couple things first. Refresh, check your devices, try to add a new device, and it will prompt you to have your GPS on if it's not on already. Hit the setup button and then follow the prompts on setting up your Google Home Mini. In setting up, it will disconnect you from your current Wi-Fi and it will connect you to the Google Home Mini device. Once you finish the setup here, it will reconnect you to your Wi-Fi. Verify on your device that you heard the sound that was produced from the Google Home Mini and now you can specify where this device is located. There is a preloaded list graciously provided by Google and if you scroll down to the bottom you can add a custom location to this list. And now it will reconnect to your Wi-Fi that you were previously connected to. Next you'll be prompted to read information about your Google Assistant. This is just information. If you select these sections you can learn more and it will take you to a different link. If you want to continue setting up your Google Home Mini, just hit next. Next, you're going to read two simple phrases two times. This is making it possible for Google to recognize your voice. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Setting up your voice can take a minute, so be patient. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help you throughout your day. Pick the type of voice you want your Google Assistant to be. You can also hit next and set up personal settings and it'll ask for your email address, your Netflix account, any other accounts that this Google Mini is finding that it can connect to, which will only personalize your experience. If you have any Chromecast devices that were connected to your Wi-Fi, it will pick this up. There is one listed here that says it's incompatible. I do have a first gen and second gen Chromecast, so I think this one just hasn't been updated. I'm not aware of any Chromecast that isn't compatible with Google Home. You can also rename your Chromecast if you don't like the name that it currently is. You can also add a payment to this Google Home Mini in case you want to order something by voice. You'll then be prompted to ask Google Home a question, ensuring everything's set up properly. Hey Google. What time is it? The time is 2.02. After your Google Home Mini responds, hit continue. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. As you continue through the Google Home app, it'll give you examples in music, getting answers, getting stuff done, and fun and more. This is not an exhaustive list of all the commands that you can ask Google Home, so just think of some questions and start asking. You can adjust the volume on your Google Home Mini a couple of ways. One, by touching on the right side, and that'll turn it up, and touching on the left side by turning it down. You can also give voice commands to raise or lower the volume. Thanks for checking out this video on setting up your Google Home Mini. If you want to see other projects that you've completed in the past, go ahead and click on this link right here. And don't forget to click on this link to subscribe so you don't miss out on future review videos and project videos that we have in the pipeline. Be sure to check out our Facebook and Instagram pages that you can find right here. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.